The familiar chants of MPP and MVP for Jalen Brunson were replaced by a much different sound inside a raucous Madison Square Garden. Deuce, Deuce McBride, Brunson's backup, led a huge effort by New York's reserves in a 111-104 victory over the Philadelphia 76ers on Saturday night in Game 1 of their Eastern Conference first-round series. Brunson and Josh Hart each scored 22 points, but Brunson pointed the credit elsewhere when asked in his interview on the court what it took for the Knicks to pull out the victory. Deuce McBride, he said. McBride finished with 21 points and outscored the 76ers by himself with 13 in the second quarter when Joel Embiid had to leave after appearing to re-injure his surgically repaired left knee on a dunk. Embiid returned and rallied the 76ers into the lead in the second half, but Hart hit a couple big three-pointers in the fourth quarter to help the Knicks pull it out. Hart also had 13 rebounds for the number two seeded Knicks, who had lost Game 1 the last three times they opened a series at home. They host Game 2 on Monday. Embiid finished with 29 points, 8 rebounds, and 6 assists. Tyrese Maxey led the 76ers with 33 points. They protected home court, 76ers guard Kyle Lowry said. We have to go, watch the film, understand what we need to do, what we need to get better at, and go from there. Bojan Bogdovich came off the bench for 13 points, and Mitchell Robinson, the next former starter at center, who has been a reserve since returning from ankle surgery, had 8 points and 12 rebounds while playing 30 minutes and leading the effort against Embiid. The Knicks outscored the 76ers by 37 points when McBride was in the game, 27 when Bogdanovich was in, and 20 with Robinson. They were the reason why we won the game, Hart said. When your top dog is not shooting well, you need other guys to pick it up for him, and that's what they did. Embiid was limited to 39 games this season and missed nearly two months after having left meniscus surgery February 6th. He still appears to be limited, certainly not the dominant player who scored a franchise record 70 points just before his injury, but helped the 76ers pass Miami in a playing game to earn the number 7 seed. The 76ers listed Embiid as questionable to play, and coach Nick Nurse said before the game his big man would go through his warm-ups before the team determined if he would play. That might have to be the plan again coming Monday. I think he is really a warrior and he's battling, Nurse said. I think he absolutely wants to play. Let's see how he turns out here tonight. And B did well when he was out there, but the Knicks had far better balance on the roster of their first team to win 50 games since they were 54-28 and in the 2012-13 season. Brunson has been the biggest reason for that. A first-time All-Star who was fourth in the league in scoring with 28.7 points per game. He shot only 8 for 26, but had 7 rebounds and 7 assists. And some of the scoring he usually supplies was picked up by McBride, a 2021 second-round pick whose first real name is Miles. He helped the Knicks outscore the 76ers 33-12 in the second quarter. I think their game plan probably was definitely more focused on getting the ball out of Jalen's hands, McBride said. If that's the poison they pick, you've got to make them pay. And Bede went down with 2.49 remaining after his dunk cut it to 49.46. The Knicks scored the final nine points of the quarter and led 58.46 at the break. But Embiid returned to start the second half, and the 76ers quickly turned around the game. His three-pointer capped a 23-11 surge out of the locker room and tied it at 69. And Philadelphia eventually went ahead 78-72 after scoring, outscoring the Knicks 32-14 to open the third. Bogdanovich, Robinson, and McBride had the Knicks' first three baskets of the fourth to move them back into the lead, and Hart helped them hold on in the first playoff game between these teams since 1989. Once again, the final score in Game 1, Knicks 111, 76ers 104, Game 2 in a couple of nights. The money line in this game was for the Knicks minus 195, for the 76ers it was plus 162. The spread was Knicks minus 4.5, and, and the over-under was 208. Pretty close to the total, but the total did go over at 215, and the Knicks covered, of course, the 4.5, winning it by 7. In the first quarter, 
The 76ers were actually ahead by nine at the end of it, 34-25 at halftime. It was uh, the Knicks in the second quarter who really took control of the game, outscoring the 76ers 33-12. to The 76ers tried to come back a bit in the third by winning that quarter 36-21, but the Knicks pulled off 10 extra points in the fourth, 32-22, to to give them that seven-point win, 111-104. So that's it for game one. The top scorers were Maxi, 33 points, 2 rebounds, 4 assists. Brunson, 22 points, 7 rebounds, 7 assists. Kyle Lowry finished with 18 points and beat, as I said, 29. Harden Brunson for the Knicks at 22. The Hard Oxford also had 13 rebounds on top of those uh, 22 points. So that's going to do it for game one. What say you? Uh, who did you have in this game? Let me know in the comment section below. If you're new to the channel, do consider subscribing. More picks and plays and uh, recaps daily. See you on the flip side. This is Trending Rabbit.